Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Anna here. All right, today is what? Ah, uh, yeah. Today is Story Time Monday. Okay. The, the, today we're going to do a story that I really, really like. And I used to do this with my class um, as a teacher. So, the name of this book is Drumroll. <laughs> Stone Soup. <laughs> Once there was a poor man. He came to a cottage. An old woman opened the door. May I rest here for a while? No, go away. I can make soup from a stone, said the man. You can? said the woman, show me. She put a big pot of water on the fire. Oof. The old man added a shiny stone. The soup bubbled. The old man tasted it. Mmm, yummy. An onion would make it better, he said. So the old woman chopped an onion and popped it in. The soup bubbled. The old man tasted it. A potato would make it better, he said. So the old woman chopped the potato and popped it in. The soup bubbled. The old man tasted it. He licked his lips. Some meat would make it better still. So the old woman chopped some meat and popped it in. The old man put it into bowls. It is yummy, said the old woman. That stone must be magic. The old man smiled. He washed the stone and put it in his pocket. Stay for supper, said the woman. We can have soup. All right, that was the end of the story. I really liked it. Did you? Okay, so since the story was so short, I decided to add puzzles at the end. So puzzle number one, it says, put these pictures in order. So you have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And you have to put them in the order in which they was in the story. Okay, puzzle number two. Spot the six differences between two of uh, these two pictures. So you're going to look at both of the pictures and you're going to spot the differences. So it could be something really like in your face, but it could be something that is hard to find. So you have to find the differences in the two pictures. Puzzle number three. You're going to find the things in the picture. So you end up, you're going to look at this picture. And in the picture, you're going to find spoons, dog, flowers, table, bowls, bread, and cat. You're going to find those items in the picture. Puzzle number four. You're going to choose the right words for the pictures. So you're going to look at A, B, and C. And you're going to see where these words come in. Would, it, would A say yummy or would it say oof or would it say go away? Same thing for B and C. So you just have to match the words to the picture. Okay, parents, this page is, these two pages are for you. This is the answers to the puzzles. So once your children or you and your children together uh, do the, you know, read the story and then answer the puzzles, these are the answers. So this is just for you parents, just for you. All right, so Stone Soup is about, um, this story is based on an old folk tale from Europe. Since Miss Tawana is in Europe, I decided to do this story. In some countries, it is called Nail Soup and a nail is used instead of a stone. But this time, it's called stone soup. All right, that is it for me. Okay, I'm just hoping that you will subscribe to my channel.
so you can keep coming on on this uh monday on story time monday also on fridays we do travel time friday so that would be something to get into as well so you can kind of see the different countries that we go to or we've been to and things like that so i want you to subscribe to this channel it is free no charge to you and also you can comment like and ring that notification bell until next time this is miss anna <laughs>